Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Continuing the solar expansion on our property, we currently have some more pallets of solar panels. Now, these are used solar panels. I paid 75 bucks a piece, and across these two pallets, there are 48 of them. And I'm gonna build another set of racks uh, in front of these, so closest, like essentially between us and those panels. And it'll be about the same length, still built ground mount out of two by fours. And then in due time, we will build metal racking and uh, mount all these more permanently. But until then, we're gonna continue building out of wood. I'm gonna look into the pricing of pressure treated lumber, but for now, just using probably like Douglas fir or something like that. Let's take a look at these panels. I will do my best to get you a good shot on this nameplate. You can see these are 250 watt panels, 37.6 volts open circuit, and uh, 8.27 amps at maximum power. Let's take a look at what the panels look like. You can see these things are in fantastic shape. There is pretty much nothing wrong with them, next to no imperfections. So the fact that they're used, I don't think even matters because of how great a shape they're in. And then uh, to mount these, I'm just gonna drill some holes through the side in here and uh, screw into the wood like that. I've got another charge controller on the way as well as a couple of combiner boxes. Uh, this will bring us up to a total of 96 panels on this system. It'll be quite nice once we have these all hooked up because we'll have somewhere in the 20 to 25 kilowatt generation capacity. And I'm still gonna mount half to the east, half to the west. That way we catch the most morning sun and the most evening sun as opposed to facing them all south. I installed a bigger battery bank that I'll cover in another video. Um, but with the bigger battery bank and the summer loads, you guys can probably tell it's super smoky out right now. I mean, you can't see very far at all. With the summer loads and increased usage and loss of power generation because of the smoke, we definitely need the additional solar generation to run air conditioning and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna give you a little bit more. I mean, if you're new to the channel and haven't seen these panels, I made like a four part uh, video series showing how I put all these together and configured all these. I have a server rack in the middle with combiner boxes and it really is quite nice and easy to work on. Uh, I'm not gonna open this up, but you can see that in there are the combiner boxes. So either way, that's uh, where I'm at, and I'm gonna show you inside the electrical room where I'm gonna add additional charge controllers. So here we are in the electrical room looking at our wall of charge controllers. Uh, this one over here is not hooked up quite yet but uh, it will be and in the future I can add three more charge controllers uh, going into this wireway here so I can have a total of six charge controllers and that'll be necessary when I have 150 panels or more. So then from there these charge controllers are going to feed through the wireways into this panel. Now if we take a look inside this is a DC panel where I have my breakers for the charge controllers. Now these are staggered, if you look, there is the breaker here, breaker here, and that's because the bus bars on these panels are only rated for 100 amps, and if there were two breakers on the same set of bus bars, they would be overloaded. And uh, even though these outbacks are only good for 80 amps output, I have them on 100 amp breakers because they're a continuous load. By code, you're required to size it 125% of continuous loads, so on and so forth. And then this panel feeds up, you can kind of see through, there are feeders that then feed up through this conduit up and over to my busing. And that then feeds into the battery bank, which I'll talk about in a different video. So either way, that's kind of the game plan for getting this stuff installed. As you can see, it is quite gonna be impressive when all is said and done. But yeah, other than that, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to see the next parts of this series. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.